Hey Gemini's, God is Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for February 15th to the 16th of 2024. For Gemini. Next 48 hours for Gemini. Yarrow Expulsion. Okay. Mustard Faith. Yeah, you're, you threw out. And then aloe vera soup. I see someone eating steamed broccoli or steamed vegetables. Mandrake and passive. So you've cut off family, friends, lovers, whoever. You cut off a bunch of people or a few people that were preventing you from being your best self. You cut out a lot of people, places, things, habits, patterns that were no longer serving you. And I feel like you took on an, even a new diet or health regimen because I'm seeing, I'm tasting steamed um, broccoli and having faith and calming yourself. Maybe you had some inflammation, so you temporarily went on a, a raw vegan diet or vegetables or something just to like cleanse. But you did something, you purged something. And at first, it could have been very boring because maybe you were used to the chaos and the drama and the negativity and the bad health. Maybe you were used to the ups and downs and the chaos. And so it's become boring. The peace has become boring. But I feel like you're getting to a point where it's soothing now and you have faith for a better future. Maybe some of you thought it wasn't going to work, but it is. All right, for Gemini. It's 48 hours for Gemini. February 15th to the 16th of 2024 for Gemini. Something about a, a vegan burger at a restaurant or something. Harvest. Virgo energy, nine of pentacles energy, water, self-explanatory, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, animal, Leo energy. Overall energy is obsession. Hmm. There could be a Virgo or water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Leo who's obsessed with you. They are obsessed with you emotionally, sexually, or financially. Could be three different people. Could be all of those things in one person. <laughs> Let's get into the tarot for Gemini. It's 48 hours for Gemini. I see you focused on your independence financially, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Seven of Pentacles. I see, yeah, same energy as your last reading, Gemini. You're focused on you. Ace of Swords, the truth about an investment. Five of Swords, when it all cost. The High Priestess, Pisces. Seeing the truth in the situation, seeing a situation very clearly that you've been investing in. Ten of Pentacles, your inheritance. Clarify. Someone could be fighting to invest in you. This could be family, friend, work, and love. Trying to invest in you because they see that you're going to be very wealthy. Clarify Seven of Pentacles is a star, Aquarius. Five of Wands, conflict could it could be conflict with any of these signs an Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, Leo. Clarifying the Ace of Swords is the Hermit, Virgo. Truth coming from a Virgo about a fire sign. So there could be truth coming from a Virgo about a fire sign, or truth about coming from a fire sign about a Virgo. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Clarifying the Five of Swords is when it all cause to create balance. Six of Pentacles, Death card, Scorpio. Okay, clarifying the high priestess is the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Three of Swords, Disappointment. Overall, energy is the Six of Swords, letting it go. So you're either going, you're going to get, so you could have been in conflict with a Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces. And you could have gotten the truth about the Leo or the Virgo, or could it came from either one, about a conflict you could have been having with an Aquarius or a Leo. 
There is a Pisces. And then we have, of course, with the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. A cycle could have been repeating with someone. A cycle of disappointment. You're realizing a cycle you keep repeating with someone, whether it's family, friend, work, love. You keep repeating a cycle and you're realizing it leads to nothing but disappointment and heartbreak. With the High Priestess, with Three Swords, clarifying the High Priestess. You're seeing the bigger picture. It's nothing but disappointment in this cycle that keeps repeating. With the Five of Swords, because you've been trying to win at all costs in a cycle to create equal give and take Six of Pentacles, but you're not realizing that there was never equal give and take. When you have to have the Six of Pentacles out there, that means something was not equal to begin with. But someone's trying to create that balance. Someone's trying to win at all costs. Whereas one person's trying to create balance, the other's trying to win. And it's coming to an end. The death card clarifying the five of swords. Someone trying to win at all costs is coming to an end. And now there's going to be balance created and restored. Because the six of swords, as soon as you let something go, and I know people hate hearing this, but it's true. As soon as you let something go, whether it's a person, place, thing, habit, pattern, power struggle. As soon as you let it go, balance is restored. You try to win at all costs. It's not going to work because it goes from the five of wands, conflict and competition, five of swords, win at all costs. As soon as there's an end to the win at all costs energy, death card clarifying the five of swords, there's balance, six of pentacles, there's six of swords, overall energy, you letting it go, moving to calmer waters. This could involve multiple people for some of you in multiple areas because even up here we have work. Finance, independence, freedom here with the her, um, harvest, Virgo energy, nine of pentacles, water, emotions, intuition, and then animal, the physical. So again, family, friend, work, or love. Put it where it goes for you. It could be multiple areas for some of you or one or two areas. But there's a conflict involving a long-term investment or where you should invest in or what you've been investing in. And you've been trying to heal it. I see the conflict healing, but only because you've gone within to seek inner wisdom, inner guidance, and see your inner truth. And you realize trying to compete, trying to win, trying to one-up, it doesn't... It doesn't mean that you've been trying to do this. You could realize that someone else has been doing this. And the only way someone can compete is if two parties are competing and involved. You're you're like, I'm putting it into this. I'm not trying to win at all costs with this person anymore. I'm not trying to compete. I'm, I'm good. You end up letting it go. Again, I say all this to say you end up letting it go and then you win. And then there's balance because you don't even care no more. Because of that yarrow, removing all people, places, things, habits, patterns that's no longer serving you. All right, if this reading resonated, I have a three question special going on. It's same day, video recorded, $22. And you can email me at goddesspufftarot at gmail.com. I'm going to pin all the information in the comments and put it in the description box below this video. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.